What's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be making Pop! OS look pretty as soon as I'm done installing it on VMware. That's right. Why? Because I can. So, enjoy. Plus, this was totally requested of me. Actually, it wasn't. I wanted to do it personally. Uh, Pop! OS can end up looking very, very pretty indeed. And saying the word pretty and referring to a distro is always entertaining. Well, let's begin, shall we? So, we're going to go into... Firefox, and we need to grab a specific tweak tool also. So sudo apt install gnome tweak tool password enter. So we got the tool. We're good to go. Now we're going to go to gnome extensions, and I'm going to try to make this as clean and as pretty looking as possible. So we're going to go install gnome extensions we're going to click this we're going to continue we're going to add it and i've actually changed a lot of extensions that i use for this after hit refresh we're going to grab user themes we're going to grab arc menu we're going to make sure it's the right arc menu yes it is and there are dependencies so we're going to go here and you need to open a new tab and these are the dependencies that we have to add. So what you're going to do, you're going to open up terminal again, and you're going to sudo app install all of this. So I'm going to click this button and turn this on. That'll make things easier for us. So just copy, paste, spacebar, copy, paste, spacebar, and we're just going to install the extras just in case you want to try a development build like this. Like that. Paste. Copy. Paste. All right. So now that we have all of this installed, we should be able to use Arc Menu without a problem. Next, we're going to go here. This is if you're a gamer. You want the weather, add the weather, right? But. Next, I usually go for dash to dock, but instead I'm going for floating dock because it, it's aesthetically more pleasing, okay? And after that, um, we're going to be removing arrows like that. We're going to go grab what's called just perfection. So this is for other aesthetically pleasing things. I'm going to go grab frippity clock. So uh, for rippity clock that will move the clock to the proper position over here and our sound panel is a bit crappy looking because yeah i can't really do much with just a volume slider okay so we're going to choose sound input and output that will change it to a whole better thing so i think we pretty much have it now there's one extra that we can grab it's called the blur my shell now, here is the issue with Blur My Shell. There's a ton of problems with it. We're going to exit out of here, and we're going to get going installing all of this, okay? So, first off, caffeine. Boom. Click on to have auto suspend and screensaver disabled, and click off to have it normal, okay? We're going to be clicking that on. Floating dock is pretty simple. The dock. Remove drop-down arrows, gets rid of the drop-down arrows to make it more aesthetically pleasing. Just perfection, we'll go over that in a second. Uh, Frippity move clock, boom, clock has been moved. Sound output, actually let me do this uh, before. After, okay? So if you're a recorder like me, that's probably your best option. Uh, user themes will allow you to have your user themes, and Arc Menu is just going to go boop. We're going to change that real quick because I need to uh, button appearance. I need to change something real quick since we're on Pop! OS, Distro Icons, and where's my Pop? Pop! OS! Done! So now we have our Pop! OS menu. This is great. So exit out of that, and I think we have everything except for one more thing. I know, this is a lot, trust me. Gnome. Gnome transparency. Okay, so transparent gnome panel. This is a big one because it takes it from that to that. So exit out of all of this. Go over to tweak tool. 
And we're actually going to disable this now because it's becoming a nuisance. Uh, it's useful in certain situations where you need to use the terminal and the browser at the same time to adjust things, okay? Uh, we're going to move quick here. So I'm going to go straight for floating dock. And what we're going to do is put this in the bottom. Great. We're going to go to appearance. We're going to remove the padding. And we're actually going to let up on the roundness. 20% is perfect. A uh, floating margin should only be about 3 pixels. There, that's, that's very big sir-like. And honestly, you want this to be fixed. Set it to 23%. That way, it's pleasing. Uh, go to, la go to be launchers. If you don't want a trash can, get rid of it. If you don't want your mounted drives, get rid of it. If you don't want your application icon, get rid of it. We already have a menu. We don't need the application icon, do we? So there, that's how I set up my dock. Nice, quick, easy. So next we're going to go to just perfection because this, this is weird. I, I never understood the point of this to show a secondary application menu. So what we're going to do is just get rid of it. And honestly... This is probably the only thing we're going to get rid of. I mean, we can get rid of this. Okay, that means when you turn the volume up and down, you won't see the annoying little thing. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can get rid of. Like, no corner, and look, now it's flat. Or you can have, like, uh, a stupid amount of corner where it just looks ridiculous. But honestly, don't want no corner. No corner looks best. Most of these other ones don't need to be touched. The reason I installed them is because they're minimal. Like, really? That looks fucking amazing. That looks great. And I love how it says I have Creative Labs, which is absolutely killer. I was a huge fan of Creative Labs back when in my P3, P2, and P1 days. Those are Pentiums back in the days when those were top-notch. And next, we're going to grab our theme. So, two themes. One is Chrome OS theme. I know that sounds weird. GTK3. So we want this one right here. Oh, this website is so freaking laggy. And we're just going to go download it like this. We're going to grab Dark Compact. Okay. And it's all colorful and annoying. And trust me, you do not want that. All right. It does not look good. So we're going to hit save for that. And then I'm going to grab what's called... Uh, White Sir. Okay. Search. Really? Are you serious? Okay. Let's try it this way. White Sir. And we're going to grab it not from GitLab. Now there's actually a way to grab it from GitLab. Okay. If you grab it this way, you have an opportunity to have everything. But I don't want everything. I just want one simple, easy look. And that is dark. Okay, so we got that. We're going to hit save. And Numix, Numix circle icon. That will automatically correct itself. Do not judge me on my spelling. I swear you will regret it. And all jokes aside, open this up. Hit control H. You're going to want to create a new folder called dot themes. And one that is called dot icons. All right. And open dot themes. Then go to your downloads and open a new window. We're going to open this up. And we're going to just boop. And then we're going to open this one up. And we're also going to boop. Once the booping has finished, open up Tweak Tool again. Click Add to Favorites because you're going to be coming back and forth in this thing, right? So for this, Chrome OS Dark Compact. No, that does not look good. Go to White Sur Dark. That looks fresh. Go down to here and select Dark Chrome Compact. Now, it will give you corners up here. But what it will also do is it will give you this funky little outlining for your stuff. So uh, your bars and things will be a lot more clicky, if you will. And you'll have this nice, smooth, rounded, blended-in theme, which looks great. So our icons are our next hurdle. I don't like the icons that currently come with this, so we're going to go and grab this. Believe it or not, it's as easy as copy, paste, and do this. 
Now, there's an alternative one for this that gives you blue folders, and I highly recommend it because the blue folders do look much better than what you think. So you just got to type in ARC, go here, download this. It hasn't been done in a couple years, but it still works. And then open. You're going to go into home, dot icons, and you're going to just copy and paste that, okay? So exit out of everything. We're almost done. So we got our icon theme, and we can just go into appearance, icons, arc. So as I said, arc gives blue. Non-arc gives the ugly colors, so I usually go just for arc. And it also rounds all your icons perfectly, which is what I like. That's aesthetic. That's very pleasing to the eye. Now we're going to go over the dangerous one, which is called Blur My Shell. It's dangerous because, if it's, if it's human in here, where, where, where's Blur My Shell? Did I install it? Uh, Blur My Shell. Where are you? Ugh, get rid of that. Blur. Okay, well, go into extensions and check if it's here. It is not, so we forgot to install it. I completely ignored it. Blur my shell. Now, this is going to take everything you have from one to a million. You see what I mean? I just turned it on, and we got blur down here. Let me change the background so that you'll, it'll be more noticeable, I guess. Uh, let's go for this one. Uh, I guess I should probably this one. Yeah, see? But the problem is it has side effects. You see the corners? Corners are blurred, so it's no longer a rounded dock. Your rounding over here is gone, which I'm not really complaining about. That's fine. But you're having these weird... You'll have artifacts, okay? Artifacting is not very good. So blur my shells right here. Uh, crank the brightness, and you just got that pure look going on. Click off on, you know, less artifacts, performance okay is where you want to be. And if we do this, you'll notice that we have a Mac OS type blur going on. There's an issue right there where blur does not stick. This does help aesthetically. Okay, it gives it a fantastic look. But as I said, it has issues. Now, you can fake this blurring by doing what's called tilt shift on the top and on the bottom area where the dock is. Because the tilt shift just blends in a blur and makes it look all fancy. And that tends to look as good, but perform a little better. And there's uh, Photo is a site. It's an online editor where you can do that for free. So why I do like this and it does look very pleasing. It can cost performance, and it can also have visual glitches, okay? So use at your own risk. Plus, it never keeps the dock round for too long. Like, if I, yeah, see that? Look, I just made it do it again. So it might stick, it might not stick, who knows? We're going to exit out of all this. And now you just have to find a background that works good. So the final step, wallpaper flare. Wallpaper flare is the home of the most beautiful things in the universe. So you have this one, you have Groot. This one's my favorite by far. Um, so much cool stuff. Like if I go in here, like you, you can totally have the babe. If you want the babe, you can have the babe. Like there's the babe, you know. Ugh, sounds so cheesy saying that. I feel pathetic. Uh, you can go up here and search. Like if I want fire, because I feel like I kind of want a fiery look to everything. And if we can find one that looks right that's not weeb trash. Uh, y yes, this would be perfect. That would be perfect. But that ass though. Mm -hmm. What happens if I take this? So that's perfect. She is perfect. And... Create a resolution for wallpaper. Click here. Avoid the ad. What does it do? What does it do for us? 
it's going to take a second because it's got to readjust the wallpaper. And download. And save. The problem with Firefox is it always tries to deal with everything. That, that actually looks pretty good. But her best feature is gone. <laughs> I'm kidding. Her best feature is actually her acting. She's actually fantastic. And that's it. Uh, you have a fully fledged, decked out looking Pop! OS desktop that looks great. It has blur. Uh, it doesn't have blur if you don't want it to have blur. It's got all the accessories. Uh, you got your clock in the right place. You got an application menu. You have a dock. It is literally the pinnacle of fast workflow. Anyway, guys, that's it. Like the video if you liked it, if you learned a lot. Subscribe if you want to stay for more Linux content like this. This is pretty cool. By the way, you can do this on any Debian, uh, Fedora, or Arch-based Linux distro for right now. Uh, GNOME 40 is going to change a few things, so things might change in the future. And if they do, it ain't my fault. It's just the way the software goes. And uh, don't forget to join the community Discord. You will instantly get every single video that I put out when it comes out in the announcement channel. Thank you, YouTube, for making a proper Discord bot. I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe.